Katoni, Reza Terrence, Hogarth at the crease. Back to Reza Terrence, Katoni. Katoni again fires, he scores! On the power play, one nothing Lake Show. That one just barely trickled in as Katoni picks up his 12th goal of the series. He has such a cannon though. Giuliano gets a piece of it. He thinks he has it. And then he hears the goal horn and the crowd's reaction. That's when he looks behind him to see that ball trickling past that line. The Lakers take a 1-0 lead six minutes into this first period. In front of a, another solid crowd here at the Memorial Center. Dixon shoots, scores! It's a 1-1 game on another goal here in the Man Cup by Curtis Dixon. Curtis Dixon with his Man Cup leading 31st point of this series. He leads all scores, that being his 15th goal. The Langley fans are loving it here. Seems like every game, Curtis Dixon gets the opening goal for Langley. And right there, a big screen. There's a pick being set. He decides there's no room. Back pedals to where he came from and just wires it down low. To Tony, Hogarth, back to Katoni. Fire scores! The second power play goal of the night for the Lakers. Both of them coming out of the stick of Holden Katoni, same spot right from the top. Not as hard as that last shot, but very accurate into that top corner. Good passing between Hogarth and Katoni. Getting the Langley D guessing. And then Katoni decides, hey, this is the opportunity right there. Gets a little pick, trying to get away from his check. Sean Evans, there's a pass, there's a shot, they score! And Sean Evans is now the all-time leader in Man Cup points. With an assist to give it a 3-1 Lakers lead. History has been made here in Peterborough. Number 88 taking over that top spot. 204 career Man Cup points and doing it in six less games than John Tavares. And there he is right there. You are looking at the greatest point getter in the history of the Man Cup. Over to the far side, Langley shorthanded, Doby shoots, scores! And then goes crashing into the PMC Pub and Grill. Ran out of room, but scores a nice one, and it's a 3-2 game. Well, that quieted the crowd after that historical moment from Sean Evans. And the Thunder are within two, a short-handed goal. And that'll certainly swing some momentum their way. And you see it starting in the corner, and then the Lakers just allow a man to cut right through the middle. And I don't even think he got hit. I think he was just running and maybe caught the car, but yeah, nobody hit him. Ouch. That looked dangerous. That hurt me. Bit of a chess match uh, going on right now. And it's going to be Evans popping it in. Here's Reza Terrence. He scores! Joe Reza Terrence. And the Lakers take a 4 2 lead with just under 16 seconds to go in the period. A huge late period goal from the Lakers. And Sean Evans picking up another assist as Reza Terrence with the highlight reel goal. Diving through and burying that ball. Great setup, great finish. And the Lakers take a 4-2 lead. For Vince, up the floor it goes. Here's Ogilvy, Ogilvy shoots, he scores! Mitch Ogilvy, 5-2, Peterborough. Ogilvy inserted back into the lineup here tonight. And he gets an early second period goal. And a nice selly off the glass right into that Quakers jersey that somebody's wearing. 
classic old school jersey. And nope. here's a perfect yeah. look. Nice fake. And Shiliano bites. Ogilvy goes to the other side. Ogilvy's uh, dad, uncle, played for the Quakers when the Lakers were known as the Quakers. So maybe that's one of them. On know. fun fact, Andy Ogilvy holds the all time Man Cup penalty minutes record. So most penalty minutes in the history of the Man Cup, Andy Ogilvy. Evans to Tony, to Catoni, shoots, he scores! Holden Catoni from his brother Tate. Evans picks up another point, two, and the Lakers lead it six to two. The hat trick goal for number 99, and the fans are dancing in the crowd at the Memorial Center as their team has taken a four goal lead on the run. Started off in that shooter position where he likes to shoot from. Comes out for a better angle towards the top and shows us that rocket of a shot he has. All three goals coming from outside that dotted shooting circle. And a good loose ball by the Lakers. They win the draw. And it ends up here over for Robert Church. Robinson shot, they score. Doby a bouncer pass. Vince on the power play and the Thunder. Score on the man advantage. Great setup from the captain, Robinson. He took a huge hit along the sideboards. Got up right away though, got back into position. And then he'll set things up at the top. And watch that shot coming just inside that dotted shooting circle. Little bit of a sidearm. Finds its way into that bottom corner past Matt Vince. And we've got a 6-3 game. Here's Thornbort. Trying to do it all himself, Thurnberg. Lakers looking for their first lead of the series with a victory tonight. Here's Matthews. Matthews scores! Mark Matthews! Seven, three, Peterborough. Mark Matthews restoring the four goal lead for the Lakers, just taking his time. Setting things up, and then you see Holden Catoni. He's plugging up the lane, and there's three guys paying attention to Catoni in that middle. Matthews takes advantage, and he wires it home. Good loose ball picked up here by the Thunder, looking to respond as they come in. Shot, and they do. They score. Off the draw. That is huge for Langley to come right back as Seeger. Went the distance there and put it past Vince. And they'll grab the game ball for him. And that is maybe the quickest response to a goal we have seen. We'll get the official nine seconds apart here, according to the score sheet. So a clean face-off win and a goal. That's how quick things can happen in lacrosse. Hoping to catch up with the all-time leading scorer, Sean Evans. See how he's feeling. Katoni scores his fourth tonight. Holden Katoni. And it's eight for Peterborough. Katoni with a cannon. What a game for 99. And once again, he's outside that dotted shooting circle. Just takes one step in and unloads that rocket of a shot. We see that shot all year. We don't see the West. We see everyone from the MSL. He definitely has the hardest shot in this league, but I have to say he has the hardest shot in the CLA. I'd love to have a little skills competition to prove that fact. Langley getting it back. Obviously the game plan is to get a couple early ones here and they get one. Doby from long distance used a screen that's a tough one for Vince to see, and it's 8-5, and that's a big one for the visitors. Langley once again getting the first goal of the period. This one taking less than two and a half minutes, and you can hear the silence inside the Memorial Center. A quick line change for Langley, and then Doby doesn't need to wait for anybody. He just launches it all alone with a couple Lakers in front of him. Front, taken away by the Lakers. Chad Tutton coming in. He's got Vitarelli as an option. He's going to shoot himself. He scores coast to coast. 
for Chad Tutton. Yeah, man, he likes that one. Chad Tutton with the transition goal. And he restores that four goal cushion for the Peterborough Lakers. And look at how much muscle Tutton puts behind that one. He wanted to make sure that found the back of the net, whipping it right through a defender. Chad Tutton getting in on the action. And the Lakers get the ball back. And it's going to be played here. Katoni fires. He scores. Make it five for number 99. Shiliano on the bench. Steve Fryer, the faster of the two goalies, was just not fast enough on that play as Holden Katoni buries it into the open cage. His fifth goal of this game. No problem for number 99 as he salutes the crowd after that one.